Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Posemaster for DAS Studio, version 1.4. Posemaster is a set of DAS Studio scripts that provide some powerful tools for manipulating poses and for transferring poses between figures. After installing Posemaster you will find it in your categories view in your content library under default scripts Cridget Posemaster. There are six scripts in this folder. Posemaster copy copies the pose from the selected objects. Posemaster paste pastes a pose to the selected objects. Posemaster delta calculates the difference or the delta between two poses and saves that as an offset pose. Posemaster transfer is a tool for transferring poses between figures in one step. Posemaster keyframe transfers animated poses between figures and Posemaster batch is for trans batch transferring poses between figures so that's a big time saver. Um, the keyframe transfer and batch are new features in version 1.4 there are a number of other cool features and I'll show you a bit more of those later. In the utility subfolder there are a bunch of utility scripts you can safely ignore those they run in the background and are used by the other scripts. The test subfolder contains a Posemaster test script and you can use that to validate that Posemaster is working in your system. I'm going to run it now. Um, it also tells us how fast the scripts run so it gives us an idea of how fast Posemaster is performing. This, this ran in about four seconds. It normally runs about five to seven seconds. That's the benchmark. And as we can see, all of our test cases passed. So this means Postmaster is working successfully on my system. If there are any errors here, um, or for more detailed test results, we can view the DAS Studio log file. And here it gives us some more information on the tests. So now we know Postmaster is working correctly. Before we start using Postmaster, it's a good idea to add the scripts onto the toolbar so that they're within easy reach. So to do that, I'm going to right click on Postmaster Batch and select Create Custom Action. And then I'm going to do the same for the other scripts. When we've done that, I'm going to go into the Edit Customize menu. And under Custom Actions, I can find the six custom actions for Postmaster that I've created now. To make it easy, I'm going to add some icons. So for Postmaster Batch, I right click and select Change Icon and I'm going to browse into my default Postmaster install folder is under my library script Cridget Postmaster and then into the icon subfolder there's a Postmaster batch small that's the small icon for the toolbar button I'm going to do the same for the other scripts when I've done that let's edit the pop-up descriptions so I right click Postmaster batch again I select edit custom action and I'm going to copy the menu text and paste that under the description. This is the text that is displayed when you hover your mouse over the toolbar button and it's useful in the beginning so that you can check what each of these scripts is until you become familiar with the icons. Right, now I'm going to move over to my toolbars view and there are a number of different toolbars here. You can choose any toolbar that you like to use you can also right click and say add toolbar you could create a Postmaster toolbar I like to use my tools toolbar for everything I do so what I'm going to do is drag these toolbar buttons over onto my toolbar I'll start with Postmaster copy that goes in at the bottom then I'll put paste below copy I'll take delta next so I've got copy paste delta then I'm going to stick batch in then I'm going to put transfer at the bottom and the last one I'll do is I'm going to put keyframe in. And when I click OK, as you can see, my Postmaster scripts have now appeared in the toolbar and they've all got pop-up descriptions so that I know what they do. Right, let's get started using Postmaster. I've loaded Genesis and Victoria 4 into the scene so that we can transfer a pose from Genesis to V4. I'm going to select Genesis first, that's the red figure, and apply a pose we'll select one of the default Genesis poses let's select the kneeling pose as you can see Genesis is kneeling now make sure Genesis is selected and I click on Posemaster copy I copy that to the default I could type in another name 
um, if I want to keep the pose, but the default is just a temporary file to store a copied pose. So Genesis pose is now stored in default. Now I select Victoria 4. Now normally I'd need to go to the parameters tab and then select zero figure pose and limits off, but pose master version 1.4 includes some functionality to automate that. So if I browse to my PoseMaster default install folder, that's normally under my library script Cridget PoseMaster, I'll find a PoseMaster settings.dat. That's a file that contains the configuration options for PoseMaster. That's a new feature in version 1.4. If I open that file in my text editor, I can see there's an auto zero pose option which is set to yes, and there's an auto limits off option which is set to yes. Those two options tell PoseMaster to automatically set the zero pose on the figure and to automatically turn limits off when transferring a pose. So that saves time. So remember I copied Genesis pose to the default file. I've now selected Victoria 4 and now I'm going to select PoseMaster transfer. We copy Genesis to default so I select default from this list here. That's the source pose. I want to transfer all of the transforms, position, rotation and scale. The offset file I want to use is the offset file that will adjust V4 for a Genesis pose. So the one I choose is V4 Genesis 0 pose. The figure that I've selected, the target figure, is the one that's first here. It makes it easy to find V4 in the list because I want to transfer, apply this offset file to V4. So I select V4 and then it's from Genesis 0 pose. The skeleton map applies the pose for across figures with different skeletons. So Genesis and V4 have different skeletons. So we want again the V4 from Genesis skeleton map. That will ensure that the Genesis pose gets fully transferred onto V4. With those options selected I can click accept and then we just wait for a second or two while PoseMaster transfers the pose. And as you can see we've transferred the pose quite successfully. If I have a look at that, that's a pretty good match. That's about a 95 plus percent transfer of the Genesis pose to Victoria 4. The only difference you'd find the hands are very slightly off position. We can, rot we can twist the forearms Genesis has a slightly longer neck, which is why her head is higher, and the feet are very slightly off position. We can adjust those by twisting the shins or the thighs on V4. Um, remember that PoseMaster can transfer most poses around 90 or 95 percent successfully. Um, some poses are not going to you're not going to get 100 percent successful transfer, and you might still need a bit of f adjusting or fine tuning of the pose after transfer but that's a pretty good transfer for one click. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.